Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Anne Muir. And I'm Mike Proctor. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. The words people say about another person have a great influence on that person's life. They particularly affect that person's future. The words have even more influence than what a person does. These words come from the book Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. The book was first published in France in 1862, but people still read and study it today. It has been a film and a famous musical play. So why is it still so popular? Today's Spotlight is on Les Miserables. Les Miserables follows the story of one man, Jean Valjean. But it is also about many other things, history, politics, and problems in society. It is also very long. The longest versions are 1900 pages. The events happen over many years in the early 19th century. The book is very complex, with many events. At the beginning of the book, Valjean is a poor young man. His parents have died. His sister and her children have no food. So Valjean steals some bread for them. The police catch him and put him in prison. This starts a long and difficult time for Valjean. He is in prison for 19 years just for stealing bread. When the authorities free him, he is alone, without friends or family. One man does help Valjean. His name is Bishop Muriel, and he is a leader in a Christian church. Bishop Muriel gives Valjean a place to stay. But that night, Valjean steals some valuable silver objects from the bishop. Valjean believes that this is the only way he can live, by stealing. He runs away, but soon the police catch him again. Valjean expects the bishop to accuse him. Instead, the bishop protects him. Bishop Miriel tells the police that he gave Valjean the silver. I gave him the silver. He also gives Valjean more valuable things. And he encourages Valjean to change his life. Valjean never forgets what the bishop has said. After more events... Valjean begins to think that he has been very wrong. He will spend the rest of his life doing good things. This is a time of great change for Valjean. He moves to a different part of France, a small town. He changes his name. He starts a successful business. All of this is very good, but 
one more change is coming. Valjean employs a young woman named Fantine. Fantine is also alone in the world, but she has a little daughter named Cosette. Fantine has many problems in her life. Finally, she becomes very sick and dies. But before she dies, Valjean promises to care for Cosette. Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Anne Muir. And I'm Mike Proctor. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. The words people say about another person have a great influence on that person's life. They particularly affect that person's future. The words have even more influence than what a person does. These words come from the book Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. The book was first published in France in 1862, but people still read and study it today. It has been a film and a famous musical play. So why is it still so popular? Today's spotlight is on Les Miserables. Les Miserables follows the story of one man, Jean Valjean. But it is also about many other things, history, politics, and problems in society. It is also very long. The longest versions are 1900 pages. The events happen over many years in the early 19th century. The book is very complex, with many events. At the beginning of the book, Valjean is a poor young man. His parents have died. His sister and her children have no food. So Valjean steals some bread for them. The police catch him and put him in prison. This starts a long and difficult time for Valjean. He is in prison for 19 years just for stealing bread. When the authorities free him, he is alone, without friends or family. One man does help Valjean. His name is Bishop Muriel, and he is a leader in a Christian church. Bishop Muriel gives Valjean a place to stay. But that night, Valjean steals some valuable silver objects to save and protect many people. At the end, Valjean dies a happy man. His family loves and accepts him, but in his life he suffers much. People do not understand him, and he is always trying to escape from Javert. Forgiving other people is another important idea in the story. Valjean forgives Javert. But Javert cannot forgive himself. He wants to do his job well. 
He is devoted to the law. He always wants to do things right. In the end, he cannot accept his failure to capture Valjean. But these are not the only reasons Les Miserables has been successful. Hugo's social conscience is also clear in the book. In the characters of Fantine and Cosette, he describes the problems of poverty. In Valjean's long struggle with Javert, he explains the problems of crime and punishment. He has sympathy for all the characters, even the characters who continue to do bad things. Valjean is not the only character with a criminal past. Many people steal, tell lies, and do all they can to get money. In many parts of the book, Hugo also stops telling the story to describe the social and political conditions of France. In one part, he describes in detail the character and policies of the French king, Louis-Philippe. In another part, he describes the history and condition of the sewers under the city of Paris. Les Miserables was very successful when it was first published. Many people bought copies in France. But the publisher also translated it into many other languages. It was popular across Europe and in North America. And since then, it has remained very popular. People connect to the ideas, the characters, and the history. In the beginning of the book, Victor Hugo wrote his reasons for the book. These reasons may be why the book has stayed important and popular. He talks about the way society can create terrible conditions for people. In particular, he talks about poverty, lack of food, and spiritual emptiness. The book deals with all of these issues. He closes this part with these words. As long as lack of knowledge and great sadness exist on earth, there is a use for books like this. The writer of this program was Sheila Godwin. The producer was Nick Mangels. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called A Story for All Times, Les Miserables. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.